Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at an S15 with a big wing, part of the big wing gang, here on a set of course for the next driver spotlight leading up to FD round one. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All is found in the description box below. So we are taking a look at Cormac Garde's S15 ESDA 2021 car. A big thank you to him for allowing me the keys to this car, this amazing, nasty sounding S15. Oh, it's aggressive. I love the big wing, definitely very Forrest Wang-esque. So once again, a big thank you to allowing me access to this car. This car looks insane. The livery is clutch with all the chrome decals and everything like that all the window decals and everything this is a very clean car so a big thank you to him for allowing me the access to use this car here for today's episode so before we get into that some credit where credit is due like i said the owner is cormac garnet if i pronounce your wrong name wrong i do apologize the s15 us type 5 origin labs and over fender and d max hood the custom sound made by kawa ac smd that vr38 fully adjustable suspension from sicky drifts physics and data from chris wadowski wadowski you know, for, uh, virtual drift championship from the VDC, edited 3D model, creator of the car, rider, oh my goodness, and high dimensions created creators of the world of drift towards cars. So rims were done by Nabio. I can't even pronounce that. I do apologize. I'm butchering all of your names. So once again, the sound is at the Link ECU. Um, by Mamaya and the livery design from Angel Design. So like I said, this car is definitely super aggressive and it sounds aggressive. So we're going to go full send here and see what we can do with it. So we're going to go full send here on a VDC track that we have to drive to, but as you can hear, let's just enjoy the sound of this car for a minute. I like what this car is insane sounding so we're gonna have to get our tire temp and everything up because that's you know something I keep forgetting to do so we got our tire temps up but we're gonna have to heat them up before we go full send on this car she's headphone users beware God, this car is so rowdy. I can. Whew. All right, so let's go full send. A little bit of a different track here for today. VDC track, not an ESDA track, but first rip in this act a little bit. Oh, too much clutch kick, I feel. I'm gonna cut short on that one. Little jump drift section there. So for a first run, I think we might need to go into fifth gear, but a first run out, we managed a halfway decent run. We didn't zero or anything like that, so so I just can't get over the playings and the pops from this car. It is incredibly loud, probably one of the loudest cars that I've tested, but I think I got some more for you. So like I said, we got more driver spotlights coming leading up to round one of FD. So we're going to go full send again and see if we can't get a better run. Fourth gear did seem to work pretty well. Third gear rollout. Try not to clutch kick as much going through this section. A little quick handbrake grab. Feather throttle. That's better. Much better. Managed to jump trip a little bit of handbrake, a little bit shallow there, but a full pull nonetheless. I don't know, could this car do this in fifth gear? It definitely looks like it could do fifth gear, so we're gonna try fifth gear pull on this. Then of course you know we're gonna go to our window because that's where we end all these episodes off. 
This car is going to probably tear that bank apart. This car is incredible. Once again, a big thank you to Cormac um, Garter. I pronounced your name wrong. I said I apologize. All these different countries and everything and uh, how people pronounce names. You know, we can't always get it right. Big thank you to give me access to this car. This car is a very beautiful car. So let's see if we can do this in fifth gear. Right in the fifth through here, or fourth. Clutch kick, fifth gear. Came up short there. Might be able to stretch this out a little bit better in fifth. Oh, we looped it! <laughs> Too much power. This car is crazy. So, you definitely want to see how this car does on Irwindale. So, let's go to Irwindale. I'll catch you guys when we get there and see what this thing can do. The car is just as rowdy in, count in first person as in third. So, we're going to see how this thing tackles the big bank here at Irwindale. I have a feeling fifth gear is probably where we're going to be in this setup. This car has no setup changes, did not change anything. So we're just going to go full on with this 205 S15. Yeah, fifth gear definitely. A little shallower. Oh, I can't see. Mid to high line. Okay, so the this transition is a little bit different here on the bank than it was in that VDC course. So we should be able to nail this run now that I kind of have the idea of how this car is going to react. It's very stable. You can kind of pick a line and run with it. So definitely a very well set up car out of the box because, like I said, I haven't had any modifications to any of these cars when I was running them except for maybe a setup that the driver gave me so this is just full how I did, got it from him do a kind of mid to high line massage it back up oh thought I was gonna loop that Save that. This car is aggressive. All these cars that recently I've driven have been so aggressive. And it makes me believe that ESD is going to be super aggressive with the cars and how everybody is. Because you guys have seen in this week, I've done a lot of ESDA cars. So, with the ESDA right around the corner, all these drivers have their cars all pretty much set up. So, you know, that's kind of why I'm getting access to all these cars. So we're going to go one more run. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, a big thank you to Cormac for this chance to drive this S15. Trying to get a nice smooth one. Oh, reverse entry. Stay in it though, we're gonna run out of gas, I think, before we get back to the line. I just can't get over the red line on this car. Oh, <laughs> we cross the line, we run out of gas. So that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of course. I hope you guys enjoyed this driver spotlight. More to come after you this weekend. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the in the description box below. As always, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.